for Bill Senate Bill 1387, which I did not have a copy until now. My gen, I have only a bill again. Uh, 1987. I just received it this uh, just a while ago, but uh, I do not have much comment on this anyway. After you gave me the summary. But I was only say that uh, in organized establishments, it is ordinary to see to see in the CBA that the CBA will grant 15 days VL, 15 days SL. That's already a total of 30 days, which invariably are being utilized by employees. Now, if we we provide additional 30 30 days here, generally, as I'm saying, generally. If we provide another 30 days here, that's already another another month of, of vacation, in which case the employees will be working only 10 months a year, but they will be 13 months in the year. But if used consensuously, I believe, I agree, and I'm strongly, I strongly believe that this will work for the benefit of both the employers, and the, because if workers are able to fulfill their familiar duties, they're able to rest, they'll come back more productive. And again, if they, this will be used consensuously, I'm speaking only about company paid benefits. I, mean, I have not taken into the equation yet the national holidays of 12 days, and I think there are additional seven days a national holiday? Yes, uh, regular holidays. Well, right now, there are a lot of, uh, ha just recently we passed another uh, non-working holiday, remember? The uh, that will Immaculate Conception. And today we're tackling two more. Today, la later uh, in the session. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, uh, please continue, sorry to interrupt. Well, as I was saying earlier, uh, if used consensually by the beneficiaries, like the, the employees, they'll be coming back to work more energized, more productive. But the, the qualifying term there is be if they will be used consensuously. But then again, if, uh, if we are talking about 10 working months for the employees, but 13 paid months for the employer, I don't know how ECOP will be defending themselves. Because earlier, I was speaking to the representative of ECOP. I said they could, should have some data and the statistics for us to, to look upon because if they're the mother organization of employers they should have at least a booklet on how many average paid vls their members are paying for their employers employees i mean because on top of the vl and the sl i know ordinarily that there are about an average of five emergency leaves also being granted in most cbas and on top of that well I cannot include the union leaves because only the union officers are able to utilize that anyway. <clears throat> For the sake of discussion, can, can we uh, uh, enlist yung lahat ng uh, uh, entitled uh, leaves right now currently? Uh, for example, we have right now service incentive leave, right? And yeah, but uh, usually, Your Honor, service incentive leave is subsumed by the leaves being provided by management. For example, if management provides 15 days, then it's is subsumed na. Kasama ng five days in service incentive leave dyan. Please, please continue. Uh, we have the sick leave, ordinarily. We have the vacation leave. We have emergency leave. We are not, I will not include the mandated leaves like paternity and uh, pa mm, there are also CBAs which provide which provide parental leaves also and emergency leave. Those are the normal, the ordinary provisions that I see in the usual CBAs. Can, can we uh, ask the Department of Labor, uh, USEC SAIC, to, 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 to perhaps make a comment for, for uh, because we wanted to to tackle all these 10 bills and uh, perhaps we can have a policy na for every uh, resource person to, to, to comment on these uh, okay. measures as we, as we go on. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. As I mentioned that out of 10 Senate bills that I have here, I only have uh, th comments for three. 
SB 360 from Senator Binay, SB 1064 from Your Honor, and 1063. And these are minor comments. For SB 360, the legal the definition of legal, uh, definition of term section three letter B, legal guardians acknowledged by both parents. My question is, how about if one spouse is under civil interdiction, like he's in prison, and especially if he's an OFW, which I received earlier, then if, if he cannot, one of the spouses who is unable to provide the acknowledgement, because it says here, acknowledged by both parents, then probably he will not be able to make use of this, <clears throat> or he's in military service. Letter C of Section 3 is still under SB 360, the definition of a minor child. It does not mention an adult but disabled child, which care needs requires more caring than an ordinary minor child. For, for Senate Bill 1064, Definition, letter B, of common law relationships, which is, will be the same comment as that I will have for 1063. We should, I suggest we should insert that provided that neither party is married to some other person, as you mentioned in one of your bills, that there should be no legal impediment. And in same-sex relationships, not only for the same, for the reason that they are in same-sex relationship that they should be able to benefit from the law if this becomes a law, but they should have legally adopted minor children. And that's all, Your Honor. Thank you. We'll uh, hear now from uh, the representative of uh, SSS, Attorney uh, Rodriguez, please. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Um, in behalf of SSS, we'd like to yes. uh, In behalf of SSS, we would like to thank the, the committee uh, for inviting us in this hearing. Um, generally, sir, um, uh, the SSS. Um, uh, supports the bills uh, proposed by the um, by the senators. Um, uh, we, we, would, we would just like to manifest that uh, the um, our position paper uh, will not uh, yet. Um, you don't have a position paper uh, as, yet, of now? Yet, as of now? With all this? It, it is it's still for uh, approval of the uh, Social Security Commission, which is uh, the governing body of the SSS, sir. So we would like to request for the... For I was yes, asking sorry. our committee uh, secretary if we give you guys enough time to, to, to answer for this. I mean... I didn't get much sleep last night. I've been, I've been up for about three days now and uh, trying to review everything here. So it's just disappointing that we, we can't uh, get anything from SSS. Uh, yes, but uh, actually, sir, uh, SSS is under the, the, the governing body, which is the Social Security Commission. So we are, uh, our hands are, are tied. Maybe we should... Uh, Call your chair. Yes. Uh, currently, sir, they, they are uh, they are um, they are having the commission meeting. So maybe. Yes, sir. Anyway, at this uh, juncture, we'd like to uh, acknowledge one of the uh, authors of the measures we are deliberating upon, Senator uh, J V Ejercito. Uh Senator J V, welcome and uh, thank you for being here. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So, uh, hopefully we can uh, have a very productive uh, uh, hearing and hopefully take, take, uh, take up these measures uh, um, 
this afternoon. No? And I'll be glad to uh, to listen first. Thank you. I will just uh, move for one minute suspension. But the the the, the, the committee hearing for a while.
excuse me. In the meantime po siguro, we can take our uh, merienda habang nasa ano. Sige po sir, parating na rin po sir. We resume uh, with the uh, deliberation of these uh, uh, measures. We'd like to uh, exercise uh, utmost patience to SSS, and uh, we are uh, hoping that you will be able to uh, give your position paper as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, later in the discussion, perhaps we will uh, be asking some questions, but uh, in the meantime, we'd like to hear from uh, our Civil Service Commission. Ms. Uh, Sheila Acuna. Sir, uh, good afternoon. afternoon. Um, we inform, sir, that um, we have received uh, the, the uh, proposed bills just last January 18. So, um, we would like to send to uh, request for the, um, to, to review all these bills vis-a-vis uh, -vis our uh, existing policies and laws. Although we already have drafted a um, uh, position paper on some of these bills, and um, generally uh, we'd like to, um, in behalf of the Commission, we'd like to express uh, that we acknowledge uh, the um, objectives and intentions for granting the, um, the proposed uh, new benefits uh, as they are notable as these new benefits intend to provide uh, work-life balance among and employees and officials and more opportunities for them to attend to familial uh, needs. Uh, well, in, in, in the public sector, uh, we all know that um, we already enjoyed 15-day uh, 15, 15 vacation leave, 15-day uh, sick leave aside from the um, maternity and paternity leaves and other leaves such as the rehabilitation privilege, uh, the um, leave for uh, the special privilege leave for for women under the Magna Carta on women. So on top of that we also have the three day special leave uh, benef uh, leave benefit so that uh, we can attend to various personal obligations such as 
uh, parental obligations like attending uh, PTA meetings, graduation. So we also we already have that. So uh, if uh, the the Senate bills will uh, will push through, this will be another uh, another additional leaves. Yes. Um, also, maybe um, may I share some of our comments. Can, can be present. Yeah, like uh, Senate Bill 360, uh, Parental Care Leave, on Section 3B, the definition of, of terms. Uh, there's a definition on the legal guardian. Uh, the question we would like to pose is, does the bill intend to limit uh, the legal guardianship to only those authorized by authorized uh, parents who are both working outside of the Philippines. So what about those parents who are of minor children working uh, in the Philippines but are assigned in far-flung provinces away from their minor child? Nevertheless, uh, we would like to suggest that the definition may be expanded to include the meaning of the term legal guardian as provided in the family code. Thank you. We take um, note of that. Yeah. Please proceed. Uh, on Senate Bill 1064, um, we noted that the availment of leave uh, for employees uh, included those employees on a same-sex relationship status. Um, it is suggested to include also those, um, since uh, those in the same-sex relationships, status, they do not have their own, their own children. Why not ad those uh, include those that have ad adoptive parents or legal, legal guardians? You are adopting also the position of Dole. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yes. And on the Senate bills regarding paternity leave. Uh, it is suggested that the three proposed bills be harmonized on the, on the following, like in number of days of paternity leave to grant, and then the coverage to include male employees in common law relationships. Um, we suggest that further study be undertaken on the grant of paternity leave to male employees in common law relationships in order to avoid possible circumvention and abuse on its enjoyment. Uh, study may include considerations on the number of common law relationships per employee to be allowed and the limit as to the number of childbirth. On the Senate bills regarding prenatal leave benefits, um, three six two and three nine eight sir. Uh, we acknowledge that prenatal care is a type of preventive health care, and its goal is to provide regular checkups that allow doctors or midwives to treat and prevent potential health problems throughout the course of the pregnancy and to promote healthy lifestyle that benefit both mother and child. However, it should be considered that uh, doctors may prescribe frequent prenatal checkups for high-risk pregnancies. And that further, uh, it should be considered that hospitals and clinics are open the whole week, so... Sorry, I didn't get it. Yung high risk, dapat. High Is risk that pregnancies, what you're saying? yeah. So it's just a regular, no, you're, yeah. you're, you're not into it. So instead, pregnant employees may, uh, or women may, may consider doing these checkups during weekends. Um, That's interesting. We'll hear from DOH later. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> But if there's a dire need for prenatal checkup during work days, then sick leave credits may be utilized. Uh, nevertheless, we would like to suggest to conduct further study regarding the grant of uh, prenatal leave benefits to include uh, the following, uh, the number of possible recipients in the public sector, equity to male employees and the benefits entitlement, and statistics of female and male workers in each group. Then on Senate Bill number 854 regarding our uh, Schools Visitation Rights Act, um, and for, uh, we'd like to reiterate that um, 
it may be covered by the existing three-day uh, special privilege leave already enjoyed by the by the employees in the public sector. Already. Yes. That's all, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think one one question that that uh, that I wanted to raise when you talk about uh, 362, uh, SB 362 and 398 to give that uh, one day uh, leave every month of uh, for, for women who are employed in the uh, in the private and public sector for prenatal checkup. I, I, I wanted to, 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 to find out, considering that uh, there are more than a million uh, public sector employees, how much, if, if this would, would pass, how much additional cost will, it, will, will this entail um, from the government? Mm. Right now, uh, we, though we have data on the on the statistics of men and women in government, but uh, as of now, wala po sa akin. But we can, we can, uh, maybe it can be part of a study so that we can provide. Well, if, if you can provide the, the committee on that, no? perhaps yung, yung, yung cost lang that would, would, would entail uh, from the government side. So another thing, uh, would having additional leave benefits uh, be positive? Just for the record, to to, to government uh, workers' productivity and health, with 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 uh, with this uh, prenatal. Because we have mentioned earlier, when we use the prenatal, we use the sick leave. Parang tayo mismo, parang alam natin na hindi siya wala naman siya sakit, mm. but she just need need to to go to her doctor para sa sa prenatal. Ah uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, what we what I mentioned later, uh, a while ago, was that if there's a dire need for prenatal checkup, for especially for those um, high-risk pre pregnancy, they may utilize their sick leave instead of having the prenatal checkup. Siguro yung isang During question, siguro, is, is, C is CSC looking at uh, productivity and health of uh, government workers? I suppose you, you yes. do, no? And uh, what is really, or do you have any proposal, what is really the ideal... Uh, number of days for, for, for leave benefits. Are we, uh, I mean, looking at the existing uh, laws that we have right now, are we, are we good at it? I mean, do we need to improve? Do we need to add more? Uh, considering, as I mentioned earlier, I'm sure you're looking at the productivity and uh, the health of our government workers. Yes, I, I guess um, in the civil service, I can talk of the civil service commission. I don't know if this is also um, present in other agencies, but in the civil service, we because we already have the 15-day sick leave and 15-day vacation leave, and of the 15-day vacation leave, uh, five of five of which are mandatory or forced leave, and among the employees. Uh, yun pong five days nga po na forced leave, minsan nga po hindi po siya ina -avail. They are being parang um, requested for disapproval o po para po ma-maintain siya at hindi po siya mabawas po sa leave, leave credits. Kasi later In exigency po, of service, yes, yeah, the famous... Uh, kasi later po, uh, they, di ba po kasi cumulative po siya and later po pwede po siyang i-monetize. So that defeats the purpose of having that this leave benefits. Sorry, that's all I wanted to hear from you. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Sheila. Let's uh, hear now uh, from, uh, of course, we wanted to hear uh, Ms. Abigail uh, Rojas uh, representing uh, ECOP. Ma'am, you're recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Um, sir, allow me to read portions of our position paper. Um, while the bills are well-intentioned, they raise not only the issue of encroachment on management prerogative, but also their necessity as well as their impact on labor productivity and cost of production inasmuch as they serve to further increase the number of non-working days already provided by law. Under 9492, RA 9492, we already have 12 um, regular holidays and then three nationwide special holidays. 
Um, in addition to this, we already, we also have... But the special holidays that you're talking about is a national, no? National, national special uh, holidays. This does and not aside, include the local holidays? Yes, sir. Uh, aside from that, we have local holidays. And then there are those holidays that from time to time the president proclaims, like um, like Black Saturday, Edsa Revolution, Chinese New Year. Um, this is this is interesting. If I if I may know, and please don't forget what you're going to say, because later this afternoon we'll be discussing all this. And um, as I mentioned earlier, before the end of the year, we pass yes. another non-working holiday, which is the Immaculate of Conception. Yes, I, I don't have anything against it, even if I I, I don't uh, share uh, uh, with, with with the Catholic Church. I mean, with, with the same faith, no. Uh, we're, we are not in the same uh, uh, direction. Anyway, let me uh, first acknowledge our uh, distinguished colleague, one of the authors of the measures we're deliberating upon, uh, Senator Nancy Binay, who is always present in our committee uh, hearings. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank her for uh, being here. That's why come 2019, I will still vote for you. Anyway, uh, going back to, 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 to what, what, what I'm saying, uh, uh, just, just so I don't forget this, and uh, this is a side, uh, uh, side uh, uh, issues that we, we, we wanted to, to talk about because we've been talking about all these holidays, yes. special, non-working holidays. Yesterday we celebrated uh, the first republic uh, holiday in Bulacan, in the province of Bulacan, and uh, I was the guest speaker there being uh, a Bulacanio. Tapos, uh, of course, I, I get to be asked a lot of questions why we are only celebrating in Bulacan and not the entire country, considering that uh, we were we were colonized by the Spires for 400 years. 400 years. I mean, when, when, when we declared EDSA revolution, again, I'm not against EDSA revolution. 20 years of dictatorship, they were talking about uh, liberation of this, this country. And then we declared uh, it's a revolution as a non-working holiday. When 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 we replace uh, when they replace their calendar uh, in in the Chinese uh, the Chinese calendar, we declare a non-working holiday. So I, I'm kind of uh, confused, and please help me with with this because I I, I might be needing your 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 inputs. For, to, for today's uh, debate, um, don't you think we need to do something about holidays and uh, the, the, the special and non-working holidays? There are proposals, for instance, to rationalize mm -hmm. holidays. Again, uh, let me point out also that our Muslim brothers, and we don't have anything against them, they have two holidays, Edil Fitir and the other one. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then they also have they also have um, three additional three holidays in Muslim areas. Exactly. Aside from the two. Senator Pacquiao areas. is on the floor right now. I mean, uh, th today he will take the floor, and will move for Bible Day as a non-working holiday. I would be voting with him to tell you frankly and honestly, but you see. I, I, I wanted to share with you some 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 thoughts of this representation. Perhaps, if we can rationalize holidays, for instance, right now, how many holidays do we have? Uh, I think the the the, the non-working holidays and 16, special holidays. There's about 25. I think 25, 26, yeah. including the December 8th yeah. holiday. I think there's 26. So what if we rationalize our holidays? Have 25. And let the, I don't know, the employees or the employers uh, <laughs> make that decision. Ito, ito take ko, ito hindi. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian or I'm a Catholic. I'll, I'll take the Immaculate Conception uh, non-working holiday than Edil Fidir or, I, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to, 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 to hear your... your, your your thoughts or, or the position of ECOP on this uh, particular uh, uh, issue, because I think this is this is related eh, mm -hmm. of what we are discussing here today. We are talking about uh, leaves, right? So, 
on yes, our right. holidays, Mr. Yes. Chair, um, I think um, we've been very, along with the uh, with other business groups, we've been very vocal to maintain the the ASEAN average of holidays. I think I think the ASEAN average is around fifteen in a or, year. Yes, in a year. Fifteen long. Yes. So. Um, so, meron, meron po kaming, I don't have it right now, yung data, how many holidays each ASEAN countries have. I think it's, it's, um, worth that, it's worthwhile na makita rin natin, malaman din natin, so that we will know our place in the, in the region in terms of granting, um, holidays, um, yeah, because siguro Mr. Chair, maganda rin idagdag bukod din sa national holiday, each locality may yes, kanya kanya exactly. holiday din, di ba? Exactly. So, minsan may mga Pasig Day na wala din paso. Exactly. Uh, this is uh, excluding, what we're talking about here is, uh, it excludes local holidays. Eh? Yes, sir. And, uh, and that's why, and then you have calamities. Uh, so, please please help us out and uh, if, if you can give us something uh, to... to because I, I, I have been espousing uh, this since, since December that I think we need to do something about it, rationalize. It's uh, unpopular to, for example, sabihin mo na lang one day na hindi na natin celebrate tong holiday na to, hindi naman and, uh, and it's impractical for a politician to campaign for it. So, let it be, nandun sila, nandun yung mga holidays, and then the employer and the employee can actually talk about it, or how many holidays can we can we actually uh, what's the magic number? Is it 25, 15? As you were saying, ASEAN is only uh, uh, implementing 15 maximum. National, huh? national, on the average. On the average. But anyway, I, I just... Uh, Talk about it. Please continue with uh, with your uh, with your uh, yes, comments sir. on these uh, so, particular measures. Okay. Aside from it was mentioned, it was mentioned earlier a while ago. Um, aside from the holidays, we also have mga suspensions, work suspensions because of calamities, um, strikes, transport strikes. Um, ayun po, may mga may mga ganon pa tayong mga um, non-working days because yun pa yung um, I think companies also have to have to um, parang include that in their policy kung paano take ang mga work suspensions minsan nagkakagulo-gulo anyway um, aside from these holidays we have yung mga paid leaves mandated by law for the male for the male wage and salary workers, we have 19, and for female, we have at least 142. If you, um, some other need to leave na, na, yes po. So if, if cesarean ang, ang babae, it will climb to 160, 60 days. Um, so, yun po, yung service incentive leave, maternity, paternity leave, solo parent leave, um, leave for VAUSI, victims of VAUSI, and then the gynecological leave, which is um, 60 days for for women. So, sa amin po, sir, Mr. Chair and Madam Senator, um, additional non-working days means days off from work. Excessive non-working days would hamper operations and production, especially for the manufacturing and services sector. If, however, an employer will require its workers to report to work on such days, it increases the cost of services and production as the employer is obliged to pay his workers full pay for the days not work um, and an additional 30 days of the daily rate of 100% for the first eight hours of work. Um, we are we are worried on on the impact, especially to the micro and micro, small and medium enterprises, um, who um, parang kumbaga date, especially micro and small, day to day ang kanilang survival. So we are worried um, on the impact of of these leaves because we believe. Um, 
the further reduction in the number of working days will impact the productivity of the workers, productivity of the company. Ayun po. Kasi minsan, minsan, Mr. Chair, kung ang holiday ay naipit, let's say Thursday ang holiday, ililib na yan ng Friday. Kung, ang, kung pumasok man si worker ng Friday, medyo mababa na ang productivity niya. Excited weekend na naman. So, yun po yung mga gusto namin na i-put on the table yung mga worries namin because especially that 99% of our registered establishments are micro, small, and, and medium. Ayun, sir. Sir, yun yung aming position. Um, I would like to also raise some make questions lang po ako um, meron lang po ako mga hindi na intindihan na bills. Like, for example, uh, um, for the OFW spouses leave, um, sa section 4 of the bill, uh, number 2, parang um, the following employees shall not be allowed to avail of this leave. Those who are on vacation, sick, forced, or study leave, or those who have already availed of other forms of leave allowed by law. So, medyo na confused lang ako on how how this leave, how the OFW leave is going to be availed, um, especially kung merong SIL na five days na parang paano paano pa ia avail yung OFW leave meron ng existing leave allowed by law. So yun yun po sir yung aking isang isang concern. And then, for the Senate Bill ni Madam Senator, Senate Bill 360, um, clarification na kasi meron pong, meron pong provision on appropriations, ma'am. So, ibig sabihin ba, ma'am, ibig sabihin ba, ma'am, um, ano ba yung ma-i-charge sa funds ng charged out of the funds of Dole? Is it the implementing all of the 2 to, 10, 2 to 10 days na parental leave. Wait, which se section 9, ma'am, of SB 360? Dalawa kasi yung bill ni Senator Nancy. 360, yes, okay. Po. Kasi, ma'am, we would 360. like to know if, if, this is, if this leave is going to be charged to the employers or... Kasi in the case of the prenatal, as I understand, it's going to be charged to the SSS. If... for the parental leave na two days po, not exceeding ten days. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take note of your uh, comments yes. and uh, hopefully we can uh, discuss this uh, further in the DWG. But um, I think we really need to, to discuss further. No, um, I, I, I see your point. I... I uh, the, the chair has been so uh, uh, concerned about about these measures and how our uh, how our uh, friends from ECOP would, would react on this. But you see, we, we still have to balance uh, everything because, uh, for example, when 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 a worker's uh, parent or daughter or son has an emergency, he uh, can't pay for it. He can hindi din niya mabibili, for instance, yung uh, graduation ng anak niya set by the school. So, again, it's it's uh, hitting uh, the right balance. I, I'm sorry, are, are you done with the... With the anyway, let, we wanted to, to hear everyone. Uh, please permit me to acknowledge now from uh, Centro, Mr. Uh, Cesar Waban, sir. You are recognized, and thank you for coming. Uh, magandang hapon po, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator Chair. Uh, Madam, Senator, magiging ganito ba? Uh, Malaganap na po ngayon yung contextualization. Pero amin pong sinasuportahan. Kapasa lang kahapon, kagabi, ng uh, uh, SOD uh, on second reading, Senator right? Po. Sa, sa House of Representatives. Hmm. Sa House of Representatives. Uh, I, I wanted to talk to Dolly about it later. <laughs> Thank you. Lahat po ng uh, ikabiging hawak po ng mga manggagawa, lalo na sa mga batas, mga, mga bagong batas, ano po ang susuportahan. Makakaasa po kayo dyan. Kaya lang po, ang, uh, sa paglaganap na po ng contactualization, at uh, lumanap po yung bilang ng mga manggagawa hindi regular. 
at lumilitan bilang ng mga manggagawang regular. Uh, ang mga manggagawang regular sa amin po ay nagtatayo po kami ng union. Kasi sa pagtatayo namin ng union, doon po kami nagkakaroon ng karapatan para magkaroon ng sinasabi niyo po kanina ng mga pinagbabanggit niyo po kanina rito na ilalagay po namin yan sa collective bargaining agreement. Yan po lahat na yan. Nilalagay po yan sa collective bargaining agreement. Pero napakasikip po eh. Napakahira po magtayo ng union. Marami po mga magagawa sa pagtatayo pa lang. Natatanggal na. Uh, uh, ang uh, kaya napupunta sa pagpapay ng kaso. At doon lang alam na wala na mga magagawa. Mayroon pala silang mga beneficyo makukuha ayon sa batas. Yun po. Ang um, binabangkit nito sa mga nakukuha ng mga magagawa na ito, iilang porsyento na lamang po sila yung pong mga regular na mga magagawa. At marami po rito ang makuntartan ng mga magagawa hindi po nakikinabang. So, napakalaking pabor ang naibibigay sa mga may-ari. Yung mga ganun po ba, hindi nyo nare-reklamo sa dole? Nare-reklamo po namin yan. Pero kailangan po na kami pumunta sa kalye. Magbinigusok kami, minsan hindi kami napapakinggan. Hindi kami napapakinggan, pupunta kami sa kalye para igit yung aming mga karapatan. So, para sa amin, masigit po talaga ang pakikipaglaban namin sa panahon na ito. Ang organized labor po ay lumit na ng bilang. No? Ang may silo po, lumit na po ang bilang. Saan po kami pupunta? Kung may mga ganyan na uh, sabihin na uh, nagkakapagpaluwang no? sa mga manggagawa ay maraming salamat po roon. At least, uh, pero may mga kalaban kami. Napakalaking bilang ng mga kapitalista na talagang pilit na iniipit yung mga manggagawa at pinapahirap ang buhay. No, po. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Ano, no? uh, sorry, kanina pa, pa na-interrupt natin. Pag Pagsalitayin muna natin lahat and then we, we continue with the discussions. Let's let's hear now from uh, the Department of Social Welfare, DSWD, Sir uh, Cesar Aquino. Sir, you're recognized. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, Ma'am, good afternoon. Uh, we have not yet submitted our uh, position paper on this, but our position paper will be more on uh, to support, will be more on uh, support to these uh, proposed uh, bills for uh, the benefit of uh, uh, our employees, like yung nabanggit nyo kanina, sir, uh, for uh, para magkaroon ng work-life uh, um, balance. Uh, but um, mayroon lang po kaming uh, parang minor observations uh, like dito po sa Senate Bay Bill 1064 um, to be entitled to uh, the 15 days uh, uh, parental, parental leave uh, meron pong service requirement na one year so Ang, uh, ang tanong lang dito, sir, is uh, what if uh, 10 months pa lang siya or 11 months, parang close to one year, pero hindi pa siya ma-entitle. So, is it possible na uh, yung less than one year, 15 days pa rin but with half pay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, proportionate. Opo. Uh, opo. Ganon din po doon sa uh, paternity leave. Ang napansin lang po namin ay wala po, wala po siyang uh, service requirement. So parang kung ipapattern natin doon sa maternity leave, mayroon po siyang uh, service requirement of at least two years. So uh, dito po kung pwede na to be entitled to the 30 days uh, paternity leave, uh, the male employee uh, must have rendered at least one year uh, service. But kung wala pa siyang one year, ang suggestion din po namin is ganun din. 
uh, 30 days pa rin but with half pay kung hindi pa niya na meet yung service requirement of one year. So, yes, sir. Siguro, Mr. Sir, Lord, Nancy? just to put on record, pag-contractual ba walang leaves? Mm, mayroon din po, ma'am. Yung sa DSWD, yung mga contractual niya may... May gano'ng benepisyo? Depende siguro sa agency yan. Sir, uh, ay ma'am, yung contractual na employees, yung contractual employees And na... And for the record, yes, may yung pinakamaraming contractual mayroon employees. Mayroong appointment na dumadaan sa civil service. Pero mayroon tayong tinatawag na contract... Siguro yung job order. Contract of service. Forever job order. Or job orders. Or sa DSWD, ang tawag namin sa kanila ay more workers. So, wala po silang... Mo? Mo, uh, memorandum of... Mo, uh, worker. Mo, workers. Wala po silang uh, leave uh, benefits, uh, your honors. So, sa private, wala talaga. talaga. Sa private, wala ko talaga. Sa dole, ho. Your honor, um, our... There are classifications ng employees namin na nang contractual na nanggagaling sa contractors, I mean service providers, in which case they are regular employees doon sa agencies nila and they are bound to comply with the labor standards. So may mga Therefore, they have leave, meron, leave, meron. Uh, Pero usually mga service incentive leave lang, not more than what the law provides. Pero so, paano yung siguro tatarawal? Paano yun sa case ng mga taga di For example, yung DSWD, because I think natakal mo yun dun sa budget, di ba? Meron silang mga empleyado for 32 years, pero may wrong title. So, yun for 32 years, malang leaves? Uh, wala po, ma'am. Wala pong leave. That's why it's about time we pass the measure. Uh, pero I think, Mr. Chair, we should start with government. Exactly, I totally agree. That's what I have been preaching. We cannot uh, force the private sector to follow suit if the government itself is the biggest uh, violator of uh, ENDO. No? Anyway, uh, let's just hear uh, from uh, DOH, the Department of Health. Miss, sino ang magsasalita sa inyo? Pwede po bang isa na lang muna? Yeah. Ma'am uh, Ma Ang Ang Angelina Del Mundo. Yeah. Ma'am, you're recognized. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. I'm the director for admin service. So, we're in the personal admin division is under my office. Thank you, sir. And good afternoon also to Madam Senator Binay. Uh, sir, specifically for uh, Senate Bill 362, uh, espoused by uh, our uh, Madam Senator, Uh, for us, from the Department of Health, it is a very good initiative to advance the reproductive, maternal, and child health in the country, especially that we have also to fulfill our international commitment. Uh, however, uh, we just would like to clarify if uh, it is explicitly stated that uh, this is one day a month, okay, and it is not cumulative, so okay po yon. Ang tanong lang po namin is that if we would add this, uh, di ba normally po ma'am, the second month, nag, uh, probably nag, uh, si signify na, oh, I'm pregnant and I'd like to uh, go to my ob -gyne. So if we would count it, so second month, third month, up to six months, so six times na po yan, ano po, or five, five times. Pagdating po ng seventh month, pwede pa rin isang best lang. Pero pagdating po ng eight or nine, usually ma weekly na po yun. So how does that be, you know, dealt with? Uh, how can, I mean, is it every week? Because uh, uh, especially with, uh, yung na-mention kanina ng colleague natin, uh, paano kung high risk? No? So, it would be, nung kinount ko po, 14 working days na po yung prenatal niya up to the ninth month. Kung yung 8 at saka ninth month, tiga-apat na araw or apat na beses. Parang, tingnan din po natin yan. Okay? So, that's one. And then, um, okay. So, for the, for summit bill naman po, 963, for the paternity leave, Um, we just would like to be clarified for special case with due respect to our Muslim brothers. Ano po? Kung uh, granting, hypothetically, we have uh, an employee who's a Muslim and he has or 
Uh, you know, should I say three spouses, legitimate spouses? <laughs> Tapos, eh, so, hindi naman sa, hypothetical lang naman ito, pero pwede mangyari na, kunwari, January, yung isang, yung first wife, mga nganak, so 30 days. Ika, yung ika sa March, meron ulit, parang ganun, so on and so forth. So, paano po, para special case lang po ito. So, paano po natin ididil? Sobrang, so yung productivity din niya po sa office. Maka so, pwede mo mamili na lang siya ng isang wife. Ah, yun nga. So, probably ma'am, kailangan stipulate din natin yun sa ano natin. Thank you. And then, uh, the rest, ma'am, actually we have some uh, very minor comments and recommendations for each bill. Although we have not officially submitted this, but uh, I don't know if you would still allow, but we can just probably submit this. Because mga minor comments lang, like for example, requesting for clarification on the definition of the cohabiting versus live-in. So bill number 1063, ano po? So yung mga ganun, meron po kami dito. Siguro we'll just submit this. <laughs> of, uh, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you very much, uh, ma'am. We'd like to hear uh, from uh, PMAP, our Suki, Attorney Eliseo uh, Zuniga. Sir, you're recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, Madam uh, Senator. Uh, at PMAP, we'd always like to say that while we're identified as an employer group, uh, we also try to balance the interest of uh, the employer and the employee because you are our yeah, we are a group of HR managers. And so uh, in this case, we recognize the right of the parents to exercise their constitutional right and duty to uh, take care of their minor children, but we also want to uh, balance this with the interest of the employers. Uh, sometimes uh, we, we believe that, uh, it was also mentioned by Ms. Abigail earlier, that uh, uh, the industry or the, the average uh, number of uh, holidays for, for ASEAN is 15. So we believe that uh, the impact of these additional leaves or additional holidays should be taken into account vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the, uh, our competitiveness in the ASEAN region. You might want to also take a look in, uh, at the number of leaves granted by our ASEAN neighbors to see whether we will remain competitive if we grant these additional holidays or leaves. Uh, sometimes it might be, uh, we, we might need to uh, cite extreme situations just, just to show the absurdity of some provisions uh, for instance, uh, meron po kaming uh, parang joke sa PMAP, no? paano kung yung, yung isang uh, female employee nagkaroon ng uh, uh, nabuntis, uh, si Sarian delivery at the start of the year, so she's entitled to 78 days na maternity leave. Pagbalik niya, dahil sa sobrang tagal niya nag-leave, buntis na siya. Tapos dahil niya, baka nag sila ng asawa niya, <laughs> uh, well, I want to, uh, uh, hindi natin alam kung hindi talaga pwedeng mabuntes, no? Or... <laughs> so, bal nag-away, nagkaroon na naman ng uh, vowsy leave, yung battered women leave na 10 days. Tapos dahil sa stress, nagkaroon ng uh, miscarriage or abortion, so 60 days na naman yan. And then dahil sa abortion, merong gynecological disorder, pwedeng up to 60 days. So, pag tinutal po natin yung number of uh, days na yan ng leaves, eh, 208 na hindi pa natin sinasama yung uh, uh, regular and special holidays, uh, weekends, uh, work stoppages because of calamit uh, calamities. So, so we're citing this as an extreme situation. But uh, the fact remains that this is a, as a possibility uh, and uh, this could also affect the viability of the business of the employer. And also, it could also result in a backlash. Uh, baka yung ibang employer, although dapat walang discrimination, Takot na sila mag-hire ng female employees kasi nga napakarami nating uh, leaves. So we believe that uh, this should also be taken into account. So that's why we, in our uh, general comments on the leaves, for instance, uh, in the service incentive leaves, uh, we believe that uh, employers should also be given the opportunity to, to take into account the, the unique uh, situation of the industries or business exigencies to determine the number of uh, leaves of the employees instead of uh, mandating them. Now, for specific comments, dun po sa uh, Senate Bill uh, 360 ni Senator Binay and 1063, both uh, providing for uh, parental care leave, uh, we believe that uh, 
So it, it provides for, uh, uh, it should not be replaced by solo parents' leaves and other benefits. We believe that uh, this should not penalize uh, generous employers who are already providing for similar leaves. So at the very least, meron po sanang crediting. Kung meron na, for instance, na parental leave na 10 days, sana makredit na po ito dun sa ini-envision niyo po na, na additional uh, parental care leave. Mr. Chair, since nabanggit mo na other companies nag-offer ng additional benefits, can you, ano, siguro submit to the committee, yung mga nakukuhang benepisyo na hindi part dun sa what is required by law, pero binibigay pa rin ng mga ibang kompanya? Well, this is anecdotal based on my interaction with, with clients and of course interaction with members of PMAP. Uh, we have yet to come up with a formal study, but I see employers granting 10 days of vacation leaves, for instance, and additional 10 days of sick leaves. So if we mention, for instance, uh, prenatal care leave, uh, yan naman po, eh, scheduled naman yan, uh, expected naman natin na every month magkakaroon ng uh, prenatal appointment. Baka pwedeng i-charge na yan dun sa either sick leave or vacation leave. Uh, ganun, ganun din po yung, ano, yun, 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 yung, yung sick leave parang hindi siya appropriate, pero kung vacation leave, pwede rin naman na magbakasyon siya, either to undergo a prenatal appointment or take care of the minor children, attend to, uh, for instance, the parental duties uh, by attending school activities, for instance. So we believe that uh, for employers who are, are already uh, granting these uh, leaves in addition to the five-day service incentive leave, then there should be a crediting of uh, these leaves uh, to comply with uh, the mandatory leaves that you that, that the Senate or that the Congress uh, seeks to, to add to the existing leaves. Now for uh, Senate Bill 963, uh, 1063 and 1209 uh, regarding uh, the increase in the number of uh, paternity leaves, we believe that uh, seven days is already sufficient. Uh, it might be too much if we increase this to, to 30 days. Uh, we also note that uh, Senator Pangilinan mentioned in, mentions in his uh, proposed bill that supposedly there are 79 countries uh, that already provides for, uh, for leaves or similar, uh, similar to the, pa the parental, uh, paternity leave that we seek to provide to the workers. Maybe we can conduct a, a comparison of how many days of paternity leaves are granted to by these 79 other countries as opposed to, to the Philippines. Again, uh, in order to maintain our competitiveness vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, for instance, our ASEAN neighbors. Uh, for the prenatal leave, uh, again, PIMAP recognizes the need to protect uh, working women, but uh, we also, I think it was also mentioned by Ms. Abigail earlier, I think that the objective here is that, uh, or that the, the intention is that the prenatal benefits will be coming from the SSS, so maybe uh, later on uh, SSS could also provide their, their comments on whether this may be supported by the, the funds of the SSS. If the intention is to make this as additional leave uh, that should be granted by the employer, again, we reiterate our request that there should be crediting of existing leaves uh, voluntarily granted by, by generous employers. Now, lastly, for Senate Bill No. 1387 by Senator Recito, or the special leave for overseas workers' spouses, uh, we love the objective of the bill but it seems that the intention is to grant additional leaves to single parents uh, because their, their spouses are out of the country. So maybe we can align this with the existing Solar Parents Act and uh, maybe just grant seven working days uh, consistent with uh, what is provided the, the, under the Solar Parents Act. And also, under the implementing rules of the Solar Parents Law, uh, if there is an existing or similar benefit under the uh, company policy, then there could be crediting. So we request that uh, a similar provision should likewise be included. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Attorney Zuniga. We'd like to hear, last but not the least, Attorney uh, Christine D, Deputy Executive Director of uh, Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Ma'am, you're recognized. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, thank you for the opportunity to be part of this uh, hearing. Um, we would just like to make a manifestation uh, that uh, the provision of these leaves um, will in turn maybe increase the cost of goods and services since uh, the cost of these leaves may be passed on by the, the business owners or the employers 
on the goods and services. So it might have a cascading effect, uh, which may not have been considered. And uh, as we know, uh, the cost of goods and services are already rising. So this may add to that and make uh, inflation higher. Also, we agree with Attorney Zuniga on the crediting of certain leaves. And um, ma'am, may I take this opportunity to to make a comment on Senate Bill 362 by uh, Honorable Nancy Binay. Um, it says here that uh, Section 1A provides that an employee is, uh, is given in the 12-month period preceding childbirth, abortion, or miscarriage a one-day leave. So it, the gestation period of a human is nine months, so might be a, a little off to have a 12-month period preceding. Thank, yes, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, sige, uh, attorney, can, can you turn off the microphone? Uh, Mr. Huaban, uh, you wanted to say something? Nabanggit na rin lang po itong Senate Bill 1387. Ito ba ipapasok sa PIA contract kung sakasakali? Kasi yung iba naman kasi dito, may dalawang CBA yung mga ano rito. Pero gusto ko lang pong idagdag po. Meron na pong 62,000 na uh, employed bilang uh, fisherman. At uh, yung, yung iba naman po dito ay kiober sila ng CBA. Pero ang nakakatakot dito yung uh, nasa Stiwanese Fishing Vessel. Wala po kasing batas na gumagarantiya pabor sa kanila. No? At ibig sabihin, yung mga benefits na makukuha rito, hindi rin nila maabil do. Eh, yun yung lang pong ano namin na sana po sa susunod mapag-usapan po din itong mga particular mga fisherman na sa Taiwanese fishing vessel. Thank you, sir. Okay, we, sila. We, we take note of that. But, sir, uh, before before we continue, no, uh, just to put on record, kanina po binabanggit ninyo, uh, may mga nagpa-file ng, uh, ng, uh, ng availing itong leaves, pero hindi nakakakuha, and, and, and you were saying na nagreklamo ko kayo, kailangan nyo pang pumuntang kali, etc. But, Siguro yung, yung uh, mas gusto kong unahing itanong po sa inyo, sa tingin niyo po ba sa mga panahon ngayon, yung pong existing law natin na, na, na umiiral sa ating lipunan ay sufficiente po ba para doon sa mga leaves na, na nakalaan right ng mga, uh, mga workers? Sufficiente po ba o kailangan talagang dagdagan at kailangan kailangan rebisahin. Uh, Mr. Chair, kung pag-uusapan po ang sa regular workers, lalo na may collective bargaining agreement, wala po ba ng problema dyan. Ang okay. may problema po sa mga contractual workers, kasi no work, no pay sila. So It's that's, a bit mean, Bill. So that's, that's, that's what I wanted to, to, to hear from you, sir. Kasi ho, um, gusto nating malaman, sufficient, di ba? It's just that hindi na i-implement yung iba or kulang, kailangan pang dagdagan. And that's why we have this, uh, all these uh, measures, itong mga leaves na ito. Uh, okay yung mga batas eh. Ang problema yung implementasyon. Kasi hindi yan kinikilala ng mga kapitalista minsan. Itinatago sila sa iba't ibang mga paraanan. Ganun po eh. Parang Dapat. napangiti yung ekop ng gusto dun sa sagot po. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, let, let, let me go on. No? Uh, para may makuha din tayo sa SSS. Ma'am, for the past five years, uh, meron po ba kayong uh, record or, or, or kung po pwede nyo may share sa amin how much money has SSS paid out for maternity and uh, paternity leaves? Kahit uh, figures lang ho. Uh, sir, currently po, uh, I don't have the data but we can uh, request po for uh, the data po. Sige po. And then considering that Senate Bill numbers 963, 1063, and 1209 uh, proposed to extend the period of the paternity leave, uh, pwede mo ba malaman how much uh, additional cost uh, will this uh, entail? And uh, dun sa additional cost na yun, syempre yung bigger question na itatanong sa atin is can the current uh, funds of SSS shoulder this additional cost? Uh, sir, uh, Mr. Chair, currently po, uh, the SSS law does not uh, provide for uh, paternity leave. So, uh, in, the, in these, so we have no, uh, 
data on this. I, I would expect that in your uh, position paper. Now, do you have the data on the number of employees who have uh, filed for solo parents' leave? Tsaka itong uh, VAUSI, and uh, especially for women. Uh, perhaps if you can also give us a uh, total amount of the claims. Ah, uh, yes, sir. On that, on that, on that, on that, Patagdag na din yung claimant din sa maternity. Ayan, pati sa maternity. Isama na rin po. Were there any instances na yung SSS has rejected a claim for 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 payment? And what are, are the reasons for uh, refusal? Uh, payment for, uh, may I just like, payment for maternity, sir. In claim uh, so we, uh, uh, usually po, um, we require uh, documents to be submitted uh, if the um, the employee uh, fails to comply with the list of documents, or uh, we can. Minahara siya ng employer niya. Do you have some remedies on, on how 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 the the worker can claim? Uh, so actually, kasi uh, if if a if a female employ uh, if a female member is employed, uh, the employer is required to advance the maternity benefit. But uh, if her employer uh, has not uh, advanced it, and uh, maybe uh, she has been uh, separated already with the employer, she can uh, file it personally. Nakirious lang ako. May prescribed period ba yun? Uh, Hindi pa ako nakakaklaim eh. <laughs> uh, the, the prescriptive period po is 10 years from uh, childbirth. Yes po. Exempt yun na si Senator Asi. Yes, uh, Sir Waban. Dagdag ko lang, Mr. Chair. Yung, ang pagpapatunay po namin yan na talagang yung mga libs ay uh, hindi na pakikinabangan ng mga manggagawa. Kaya din, dinadala po namin yan sa NRC. Napakaraming cases po, particular po sa aming organisasyon, hindi na ako magsasalita sa uba pa, napakaraming cases na isa yan, yung libs na yan, no, na isinasama namin sa kaso. Dahil hindi talaga na papatupad. Sige, Mr. Chair, may dito mo ba yung dole na mga pending cases with uh, regards to yung complaints, uh, uh, many complaints you, you receive regarding refusal of an employer to to grant these leaves. Is that what you're, you know, uh, Senator Nancy? Okay. What benefits were meted to erring employ employers, if that's the case? No, mapatunayan. Depends then. Well, there, there is a process, Your Honor. Um, the complaint process starts with the Sena. In the Sena, they are being conciliated muna. And uh, if nothing comes out of it, the employee can go to NLRC for mandatory um, conference and then mandatory conciliation and then they can go for for the mandatory case now. The penalty would be at the end of the, unusually, um, unfortunately, it uh, comes after the long process of litigation. So sometimes no one wants to. Yeah, yeah, okay. your, your Honor. But considering also the the case load of the NLRC, cases usually take months. Although they are mandated to terminate the case in 90 days. Pero pag nagrule na ba yung NLRC? May pwede pa ba nila elevate yung to yes, yes, sa court yeah. or sa OP? The process may unfortunately can go as high up as to the Supreme Court. And uh, I can understand the plight of the labor because if you do not have enough funds to pursue your case up to the last level, then they usually give up. Another thing, no, because si, uh, Dr. Uh, Tess can 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 can, uh, can answer this. Yung yung. Uh, Itong Senate Bill 1064 prohibits employers from discriminating employees of family responsibilities and duties toward their children. Similarly, may Solo Parent uh, Welfare Act. Nandiyan din yung Magna Carta of Women prohibiting employers from discriminating solo parents and women respectively. Now, with respect to uh, terms and conditions of employment, have there been uh, reported cases of discrimination based on... Uh, one's status as a solo parent or as a woman. And perhaps if you can uh, talk to us or give us a view 
what steps uh, you you would be taking or Dolly would be taking to uh, to address these complaints. PwC countered any, but I can ask and we can also give you. Uh, I think it's necessary to provide additional protection to employees uh, with parental responsibility. Yeah. Isa, pang, isa pang magandang usapin na ni-raise ng, ng, ng ating mga kasamaan dito yung, yung Philippine competitiveness. How this will affect our competitiveness in the region. I, I'm sure uh, perhaps Dole have studies and uh, anong anong anong, anong uh, effect nito sa atin and uh, again would, would you agree with the uh, comparison na uh, made a while ago compared to our uh, asian neighbors how philippines uh uh, uh tayo magpa-fire with respect to uh, the grant of uh, paid leaves your honor we can also acquire those data from our ils we can provide that um, on friday or monday yeah, and siguro we, we we should discuss this further in the in, yes, in, in the in the next hearing. Uh, to to the OH, uh, ma'am, you, you have studies on the uh, positive impact of uh, these leaves on the welfare overall well-being of the workers and their uh, families. And uh, if you do, mayroon ba kayong kanina ko patuhin na hanap eh, yung ideal or or strong uh, suggestion from your end na this is actually the number of days na ideal for uh, leaves and rest? Yeah, sir. Regretfully, at the moment, we don't have yet, but because we have just started uh, organizing our occupational and safety unit, especially headed by the Disease Prevention and Control Bureau and our office. So we were really uh, getting into that, sir, but uh, we don't have any data yet as, uh, the, to the, as the impact. But of course, we're espousing on the maternal and the child health care. Okay, yeah. thank you. So the SWDO, meron ho ba? For example, in early years ng, ng, ng bata that, that gives significant uh, uh, um, positive uh, outlook uh, in, in their uh, development, pagka more time, may, meron kayong mga ganong studies? Uh, uh, Your Honor, I am not aware of uh, uh, studies uh, like the, like those uh, conducted by uh, our uh, program bureaus because uh, I belong to the uh, admin. Oh, okay. So, but would you know but well, if there's if there's none? Do you do, do you see or if you're if you're aware that indeed there's a relation between availability and use of parental leaves? Uh, to the development of children and uh, lesser number perhaps of uh, out of school use i believe so your honor kasi uh, especially sa mga maliliit na bata talagang kailangan kailangan nila ang uh, ang presence ng magulang ang guidance ng parents that's why itong mga proposed bills na ito welcome development po ito para sa amin uh, especially our people doon sa sa field yung mga direct service sa uh, workers kasi ito yung mga tao na kadalasan halos wala na silang uh, panahon sa kanilang family because yung demand ng trabaho eh nas nasa sacrifice talaga yung oras nila for uh, the family especially yun yung mga may maliliit na anak sir tuntan natin yung ano yung vouchy leave uh, does DSWD provide counseling service to uh, the victim of violence? Uh, yes, sir, but uh, walang, walang siyadong, sa amin, sa, as far as DSWD is concerned. Date, walang masyadong? Uh, yes, sir, wala po kaming mas, na encounter na And is it still your position, yung existing seven-day leave under the law is uh, already sufficient? Uh, yes, yes, sir, honor. This is your position? Yes, sir, honor. Um, one last, yung, yung Senate Bill 963, 1063, and 1209 proposed to extend the period of the paternity leave up to 30 days. Uh, will, will the extension of the period of paternity leave uh, affect the development of the child? Uh, I, I believe so, uh, Your Honor. Because uh, the presence of the father 
uh, doon sa habang lumalaki yung bata is also, is also vital for the development of the uh, child. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, Ms. Abigail, you're recognized. Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, I just forgot to mention a while ago, I would just like to register um, this part of our position. Yung Senate Bill 360, 1064, and 1387, I think provides sir, for criminal sanctions to employers who will violate the, the law. Um, or the, the law if passed. As worded in our position papers, or such sanctions are violative of the right of employers to the legitimate exercise of their management prerogative. And I think, sir, um, criminalizing or the threat, the mere threat to criminalize um, um, employers who violate doesn't um, doesn't send a good message, especially sa mga foreign foreign investors because of the um, because of the very stringent and restrictive policies that we have. I, 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 uh, I, I actually uh, wanted to talk more about it, you know, siguro in, in the next uh, hearing, the, the impact of on the entry or expansion of businesses in the Philippines if we, if we, uh, if we, uh, if we pass these measures. And uh, kanina, kanina binabanggit ito, but can, can I ask also ECOP and uh, PMAP and uh, FFCCII, um, ito, yung, yung standard ng uh, industry practice on leave uh, benefits given to employees, no? uh, is a non-commutable and non-compounding mandatory leave benefit, yung SIL for instance, less costly and with less impact on uh, labor productivity. I mean, what is your sense on the number of access or frequency of availments? Sir, uh, right now, sir, we ECOP doesn't have that um, that data, sir. But we'll we'll try to provide you um, sa next ano po, next meeting natin, sir. Kaya sir, meron ba? Sir, sir, we also don't have that data. But in so far as SIL is concerned, I understand that this is uh, convertible to to cash if uh, not used at the end of the year. So maybe if ever there will be additional leaves, uh, it might be better to uh, compel the employee or that these leaves not be convertible to cash because the, the objective is to allow the employees to use them for, for parental care, for instance, and they should not be co convertible to cash. So sir, yung dole kaya may ganun data? Dun sa non-commutable and non-compounding mandatory leave benefits. Yung availment, oh. Avail Plus yung availment. Mm. May, may ganong study na ho ba tayo? For example, yung no, uh, maternity you leaves. Kanyari, talaga ba ginagamit nila yung full 60 days? Or usually, hindi rin ginagamit kasi they, go, they see the need to go back to work? There are instances, Your Honor, that uh, those who went on childbirth urgently require uh, request their employers to return to work. But... Um, Normally, they are not allowed to go back because they are still under SSS benefit. There are a lot of those cases that I have seen. But in practice, hindi ho ganun yung, I guess, yung taga-DOH. Uh, yeah. uh, as far as the DOH is concerned, lang, but generally speaking, for our employees, there are instances when, let's say, 60 days di po ba. So, bayad na siya ng 60 days. Tapos, he will just show to us a medical certificate na fit to work so that, kasi pagbalik po, she'll be paid again for the services rendered. So, para for purposes of, you know, earning additional opo. So, parang nadidefit din yung purpose. Pero, for other people only or other employees who are really in need of, you know, probably money, they want to, but in the, in, they feel naman that they're already fit to work. So, basta meron medical certificate, eh, syempre, of course, we have to process that. Opo. Well, yung, yung isa pa, no, uh, sa, sa ECO, PMAP, and uh, FFCCCII, yung Senate Bill 854 dito mandates uh, employers to give employees with parental responsibility up to three days of paid leave so that they can attend school activities, yung binabanggit natin kanina, uh, three days of paid leave. Uh, may I just ask if 
I think it was mentioned a while ago, even some companies are, are, are giving more, you know. Uh, do some companies already offer this uh, benefit? So in our case, we really don't have a database on what companies provide. Um, we'll just, maybe we, we can check that, sir, with um, with the CBA's file, pero ano lang yun, sir, for unionized lang. In the case of PIMAP, we also don't have such information. Uh, again, this is an anecdotal. Uh, in my information is that most of the vacation leaves are really all-purpose leaves, not really just for attending uh, the school activities, for instance, of uh, the children. Kasi di ba, medyo parang hindi din ba secret ng companies yan? Kasi to make them attractive to, I guess, potential uh, employees nila, di ba? Or pang pirate nila yan. Di ba, parang nag that's yung competitive edge din nila yung ganong additional benefits. Uh, Madam Senator, I think instead of granting leaves, the uh, employers uh, in any way uh, uh, can enter into flexible work arrangements with, with the employees. Sometimes, if, for instance, if a parent uh, wishes to attend a school activity in the morning, then maybe the parent could be allowed to be absent in the morning and then just extend the working hours uh, up, uh, maybe later uh, in the evening. Is that the rule or just an exemption? It's an exemption, uh, but at least it, it, it will... Uh, majority ba? Ganong kagalante? Or uh, really? I really can't say, uh, Madam Senator. But at least it's better, I think, to recognize the prerogative of the parties to enter into such arrangements instead of mandating them. Thank you. We have uh, a session at the session at three o'clock. Please allow me to give a synthesis of the day's hearing and directions for the uh, uh, next and future uh, hearings of this committee. Siguro po yung uh, iisip ng mga kaibigan natin, mga taga industriya, lalo na ang mga employers na mas nakikinig lang tayo sa mga manggagawa. Sana po hindi, no? Dahil sa mga live benefits. Um, let me emphasize that uh, we really need to 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 balance. Eh and uh, emphasize also that we recognize the right of our enterprises to reasonable returns to investments and to expansion and growth, Article 8, Section 3 of the 87 Constitution. That's why I subscribe to the uh, thought of uh, Yusek uh, Dominador Sai that there can be no capital without employees and there can be no employees without capital. Ito po yung school of thought natin na gusto nating sundin sa mga panukalang batas na ito. Balansi po talaga dapat lahat. Workers and employers should both benefit uh, with these uh, proposals. In ang beses na po natin nabanggit kanina, yung mga pag-aaral na kung mas produktibo ang ating mga manggagawa, mas lalago ang mga negosyo. Sa maraming bansa, ang direksyon talaga ay bigyan pansin ang pangangailangan ng mga manggagawa, bigyan sila ng paid leaves at uh, kung ano-ano pang mga leave uh, benefits. That's why it's encouraging to know that we all recognize the range of needs our workers have outside of work. Nagkakasundo po tayong lahat uh, sa bagay na yan at positibong uh, bagay at malaking hakbang po ito. Wala po dapat trade-off, hindi dapat mamili sa pagitan ng trabaho o pamilya ang mga manggagawa. Our people should be able to work and be there for their loved ones, for their families, for their kids, most especially with their partners or spouse or outside the country working as OFWs. Although tama po yung point ng ECOP na binanggit niyo kanina na baka may overlap ang service incentive leave at proposed OFW legitimate spouse leave. But again, universal po eh. Yung uh, epidemic uh, of stress, overwork, burnout ay nagpapababa talaga sa productivity ng ating mga manggagawa. Pero alam din natin at napakaraming pag-aaral na nagsasabing kapag maayos ang pamilya ng isang empleyado, uh, inspired sila, motivated sila, mas maayos din yung trabaho niya. But yes, I agree with all of you that uh, there should be a mechanism or at least encourage our workers to use these leaves consensuously. Kung ano yung uh, in-avail na leave, gamitin nila talaga sa ganung purpose. Pag-isipan din po natin, especially sa public sector, yung sinabi ni Ms. Uh, Sheila Acuna ng uh, CSC, kung paano talaga may encourage ang mga workers natin na i-avail yung mandatory leave. Kasi tama, na-de-defeat yung purpose na para yan sa productivity nila. Yung pong comment ng uh, CSC na pwedeng gamitin ng sick leave instead of prenatal leave, 
sa tingin ko po ay uh, may punto kasi yung sponsors ng prenatal leave bills na si Senator Ligarda and uh, may uh, seatmate, Senator Nancy, na hindi sakit ang pagbubuntis. Ang concern ay ang uh, health of the mother and the child kasi kapag uh, buntis, may risk naman talaga. So ito pong uh, number of holidays natin, may impact talaga sa competitiveness din ng ating ekonomiya as mentioned by our friend from ECO. Ms. Abigail Gorospe and as echoed by Attorney uh, Eliseo Zuniga of uh, Pima, valid po yung observation ninyo na dahil sa mga additional, sick, uh, additional leaves, takot din mag-hire ang mga companies ng mga female workers kasi talagang malaking consideration po ito. It should not be. In the future, let's see how we can uh, rationalize our holidays and if possible align with the average number of holidays in ASEAN, although I understand malaking... Um, factor dito yung diversity ng kultura natin kumpara sa ibang bansa. And uh, kanina pinag-usapan namin ni Senator Nancy, bakit yung iba? For example, maternity leave. Kaya nila one year, no? For example, if you live in Norway, something to like that. Pero we cannot we cannot compare, you know, uh, apples and oranges. But that's a valid concern of uh, employers, no? Yung mga binanggit nila kanina, ang ECO, especially yung mga nagpapatakbo ng uh, micro and uh, small and medium enterprises. Ang usapin po ng uh, paid leaves ay talagang usapin ng kapakanan ng mga manggagawa kaya uh, salamat po sa suporta uh, sa panukalang ito ng mga manggagawa natin. Si Kase Sarwaban ng Sentro, uh, tama po yung uh, continuing saga uh, yung, 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 yung sa ENDO, especially in the government. Uh, again, we, put, we will put all your ideas together and... Uh, Uh, to the next hearing, we'll continue and uh, substantially discuss all these uh, measures. We can clarify some terms like the definition of legal guardian and also include your specific uh, proposals like crediting of existing leaves voluntarily granted by uh, our employers, etc. Again, sa inyo pong lahat, maraming maraming salamat at uh, pagpalahin tayong lahat ng ating Panginoong Diyos. This uh, committee hearing is uh, now suspended.